we think about being a sign of sending, we go back to you know the etiology of this disease in IIH, and it starts with the concept that the skull is a, a fixed uh, fixed box, and there's only so many things that can go inside it. With the majority of it being taken up by uh, the brain parenchyma, and then next with uh, the ventricles and CSF, and that leaves just a little bit of room left over for the vasculature. Um, with a lot of that being taken up by the veins, and so this all of this vasculature needs to fit in. And uh, if there's an outflow obstruction uh, that leads to buildup in the venous system um, with uh, worsening of the intracranial pressures. So here's what that looks like. We often see it behind the ear um, in the region of the transverse sigmoid uh, junction, either in the transverse sinus or the sigmoid sinus, but it can happen elsewhere as well. And that restricted outflow that we're seeing here on this left picture uh, leads to buildup uh, more proximally upstream. And, um, and that limited outflow uh, leads to buildup of uh, venous blood and then uh, intracranial hypertension. And then it's kind of a, a vicious cycle at that point because uh, the increased pressure that results from that leads to more pressure uh, extrinsically on the sinuses, uh, which in, in, in junction then leads to more uh, outflow restriction and then it kind of keeps building with time. 